Am I right? I have my days straight. Yeah, we, don't do that. Uh, we went from four to six. Yeah, Actually, if you look on our original chart, um, I think we did two days in one chart or something. So if you would, on your day four, would you put a slash five? You know, where I gave you a day four chart, I want you to change it to day four slash five. That's a five minute bell. So thank you. And then I didn't program in my atomic time for the real bell. We'll just go by the school's bell. But that gives me an idea. I have about five minutes left. All right. So did you go back to day four and put four slash five so we're not missing a day? All right. So we're doing day six information. And that topic is, Alex, you're our topic reader. What is the topic? It is the relative velocity and acceleration. All right, we'll be on relative velocity today. All right, so take some notes in that area. And all I have to say is you have gone to grandmom's house. If you're lucky to have a grandmom, I was, mine were all deceased by the time I was born. So I didn't have that joy. But if you were at grandmom's house and you were in the car, say you're with your, your father or parent, and you were driving away from grandmom's house. So if you would draw that out, we have to do our drawings. So here's grandmom's house. And she's standing there with her little curly hairdo and she is waving goodbye all right <laughs> you can do better than that then you have to draw a car which is always a challenge i always use a smart car because it's so easy to draw all right probably the only smart car you'll see today is on my board and they didn't seem to catch on. They weren't that smart, were they? In the car, there, uh, there's you and your parent. So, all right. Waving as well. <laughs> all right. All this to talk about relative velocity. All right. Grandmom's house, you are driving away. So let's, uh, Say this was on a straight line, and we'll give this the old minus sign and this the old positive sign. And while you're finishing your drawings, I'll erase the board, that part we don't need. So we're on day six now. Did you put in the minus and the plus? Let me see your drawings. All right. All right. All right, if you haven't finished, quickly put in a stick figure and you can fine tune it later. What we're studying here is relative velocity. have to go to grandmom's house to learn about it. It turns out that this car is moving in this direction, which I've defined as negative, and you, it's not required that it be negative, but for this discussion, I picked the left as negative, as I often do. So as the car is pulling away, the relative velocity, let's discuss, the, say you're a girl, you're a girl, and you're looking out at, you're leaving grandmom's house in the car. What is it look like to your perspective if you're sitting in the car with your father and you're driving this away, what does it look like to you that the velocity of your father is? So what does it look like that compared to you, is your father moving at all? No, it looks like you're completely still when you're sitting in the car. <laughs> so when you're sitting in the car, 
daughter, father, as you're going this way, it looks like to you, father's uh, velocity is zero. What about grandma? So let's make a note of that. Uh, from, from the child's perspective, the father's velocity is zero. I don't know what kind of precision, we'll just say zero miles per hour. We'll go with some English units. So zero miles per hour. All right, now is we look from grandmom. Grandmom is looking at father now, or parent, or father I call him. From grandmom's perspective, father has a velocity. What does it look, uh, let's give it, let's say that the velocity in this direction is 30 miles per hour on the speedometer. So from grandmom's perspective, what does it look like the father's velocity is? What do you think, Zach? 30 miles per hour. Except give me some direction. Uh, negative. Negative 30 miles per hour. The negative just meaning they're heading out to the left on this road. All right, we're pretty much out of time at this point. So I would like to have you do this. See the little homework spot? I want you to read page 21 and 22. So we're going to read 21 and 22. And do OYO. 1.7, 1 1.7, there. All right, that's it for today. So, Hunter, this is over and out. Get well soon. All right. Thank you.